we just arrived from Atlanta. Flights are a little bit delayed and uh, it's looking pretty muggy outside. We picked up the rental car and on our way to Chattanooga. One more hour to go and it's getting pretty late and it's freezing outside. Uh, going to participate in the Chattajack 31 mile paddleboard race down the Tennessee River in the Chattanooga River Gorge. It's uh, promising to be really beautiful, um, maybe a little bit rainy if you look outside, if you could see outside now, but um, a pretty grueling long distance paddleboard race will be my longest, definitely, and uh, hopefully I don't die. After one and a half hours in the rain, we finally made it to Chattanooga. Town's pretty quiet, everyone's asleep, and I'm pretty tired as well. I, I hope I will be visible enough on the, the misty waters of the Tennessee River. Neon shocking yellow. I'm sure this will keep keep my ears warm. Oh, there you go. The brochure promised that these glasses will make me paddle faster. The secret to transporting a paddle: pool noodles. <laughs> So tomorrow the plan is to get registration done, pick up the board, um, check in the board and try it out, the Bark Dominator that I'm renting for this uh, adventure. I'm feeling a bit tired at the moment, so not quite sinking in that we're here, but uh, tomorrow is going to be a big day, just getting in the vibe of everything. So check you tomorrow. Welcome to Chattanooga. It is still rainy and cloudy and misty. So at least that, that is becoming the new normal. And uh, oh, right side of the road, whoop, whoop. I'm making peace with being wet, soggy and miserable for seven hours. But um, at least uh, I'll be on a paddle board, which will be fun. Um, we're on our way to breakfast. We will plan the day ahead. It involves scouting the route checking out the river, uh, finding some good view spots for a uh, shawl for the Sherpa crew, the support crew, uh, the support crew of one. And, uh, um, and we have our race registration as well. I have to check out the board that I'm renting for this trip. Um, hopefully tomorrow morning won't be the first time that I ever step on this board and realize that I cannot stand up. Look at this guy freaking uh, maneuvering like a boss. Money can't buy me what? It can buy me a boat. It can buy me a truck to pull it. It can buy me, I don't know the rest of the lyrics. But it can buy me a boat. It can buy me a truck to pull it. It can buy me a Yeti 110 ice down with some silver bullets. Yeah, and I know what they say. Money can't buy everything. Well, maybe so. Well, you can buy me a boat. Finally, after an exhaustive search, walking in the rain for hours, meaning eight minutes, we found Needlows. So, happy space. Coffee, breakfast. <laughs>
we've made it now to Hales Bar and Grill here on the Tennessee River. This is the spot where the Chatterjack race finishes tomorrow. And the race finishes with a 300 meter sprint. We have to turn around a buoy and uh, then there's a final timed 300 meter sprint. So there's an individual prize for that as well, whoever gets the fastest sprint. And uh, I suspect the buoy will be somewhere over here and we'll be coming upstream around this old uh, building, factory looking place. Uh, a bit of apocalyptico going on here. <laughs> and then uh, sprinting all the way down, down this pier for the grand old finish. Finish strong. That, that'll be, no matter what you do during the race, as long as you finish strong, it'll be a good day. So, um, that's gonna be me tomorrow this time. Skin and bones. Um, I'm limited. I'm 13 foot category. So this is my board back home, the All-Star. Not, not, not your board right now. No, it's not my board, but I have the same model. It's the Starboard All-Star. Are you guys in the... Hi, are you guys in the registration line? Yeah. Hi, how's it going? How are you? No, it was yeah. perfect. We'll, we'll plan a trip to come see Be sparing. What's up, Gladiator? They're all clubbing. I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, 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 the board itself is super stable. Yeah. Uh, it's got a really good glide. It's it's just dependent on. I've seen people. Here's the go. Just take this down. It's a 40-footer, right? Yep. Dave, is that a old new? Does it matter? Doesn't matter. It's the same. same. <laughs> it's the not, river didn't the change. The river hasn't changed in uh, yeah. how many years? So. I've been paddleboarding now for about seven years. I started in 2011 in Cape Town, South Africa, when uh, me and two of my good friends uh, decided to paddle around the uh, East African island of Zanzibar, um, just to do a, a, you know, a bit of a wild adventure. And uh, since then, I've never really stopped. And uh, I've moved to the Cayman Islands, where the water is just perfect for paddleboarding. So uh, I've been uh, living there for the past six years, and paddling the canals and the beach and, and surfing down on the south side a little bit and um, it's just an active part of my life that I wouldn't want to be without. I really love the sport, I love being on the ocean and well any, any form of water and I really just uh, love the energy and, and the access that the sport gives you um, to adventure and to exploration and to uh, just uh, have a lot of fun. It's always been easier for me to uh, get fit and to uh, um, get out there and consistently train for something if I have a specific goal, which usually takes the form of a specific event, a triathlon, a half marathon, or in this case, uh, a paddleboard race. I really love the sport and I really love paddleboarding and I thought, you know, what better way to go to a different country and experience a, a new city, a new area of paddling. I came across Chatterjack, the Chatterjack race online, and it just looked like the perfect opportunity. I managed to book a board close up here um, 
you know, close to the race in, in Chattanooga and uh, things just fell in place. Buddy Shell could come join me here. Um, so, you know, what better way to see a new place than to uh, go on a little adventure. So another reason why this race is uh, quite special for me is that uh, I'm using this opportunity for me, uh, you know, to give a little bit more meaning to it than just uh, me going somewhere to do an uh, adventure by myself. Um, I'm raising awareness for the Cayman Islands uh, YMCA. They actually have uh, um, adventure camps for kids that is really cool. It's a really awesome program where they take the kids snorkeling, take them out on boats, uh, hiking, uh, geocaching. Uh, they actually go up on a, um, like obstacle courses with ropes and there's just so many things that the kids do that they really just get out, uh, get more confidence in the wild. Well, not the wild, but the outdoors. They actually uh, um, build leadership skills, they have better communication skills, social skills. There's so many reasons why kids should be outside and be playing and having fun and getting exposure to these things that my parents were able to give me, you know, getting exposure to the great outdoors. And uh, so they offer financial assistance to families that are unable to send their kids to these camps. Check out the link at the end of the video and uh, go to their donation page if you feel uh, if you feel the urge to give a donation to send a kid to an adventure camp, this is a great opportunity, a great cause, and you'll definitely make a difference in a young kid's life. Battle on, be strong. Strong kids.
Kom hier ook nog. Feet are cramping. That is the issue. The soles of my feet are contracting into little balls of hell. Of hell. Yes, to a sit. To mark a little It was all worth it for chocolate milk. About 30 minutes, they'll be. Not normal, but somewhat. Yeah, yeah. I went the wrong direction, huh? Yeah. It's already showered there. Yeah, exactly. I can definitely for a speck further. What's on? The owns for two full of pains and the knee gun. Okay, just finished the Chatterjack, 31 miles on the river. There were some moments of uh, fear suffering and lots of moments of uh, paddling bliss and glide and a strong current behind you and uh, freaking paddling faster than in any training runs. And then there were moments where they, the wind was coming straight from the front and I was paddling slower than any paddling training runs I've ever done. Overall, this is an awesome race and I really hope to be back. The gorge is beautiful, um, the people are really nice, the culture of this race is awesome. So, I'll definitely be back and just enjoy this now. Watch out for the ambulance. So this is called the, the Chatterjack Walk. That's it! <laughs> Chatterjack 2018 is done and dusted. And uh, we say goodbye to Hales Bar and Marina here uh, um, at the finish line. The cutoff time for the final boats is in five minutes. And uh, we still have the prize giving where I obviously need to get my uh, uh, 123rd place uh, prize. And, um, and then uh, we'll just bask in the glory of knowing we achieved something great. Mm -hmm.